Hey guys, I'm Chris, and I'm here Let's Playing Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards on the Nintendo 64, and I have a special co-commentator. Introduce yourself, please. Hey there, I guess you could call me a Cody commentator. Uh, oh, my name's oh, Cody. You're really starting that yeah, early, aren't from, you? from uh, Cody Davies TV. <laughs> Expect to hear more terrible puns through this LP, so mm -hmm. I've uh, worked with Chris before. And terrible gameplay. Yeah, terrible gameplay is, uh, is Chris's, not mine. Uh, by the way, I, I take credit for the bad puns, he takes credit for any uh, running into walls or uh, running into fire or other things he may do. So, basically, yeah, um, I've worked with Chris before, we've met up at E3, we've uh, done videos together, mm -hmm. this is our first LP though, so, together, so, should be interesting. Should be. Should do you know how to exciting. use Kirby's copy ability? Um, it's control C. <laughs> yeah, I sure do. I, I, I just clicked yep. Um, this is actually known as Nintendo's uh, darkest game ever created. Right. It's the Dark Knight of Nintendo yep. games. It, it's basically um, a horror game. It has a lot of the horror elements. Yeah. You've got an alien. It's running around, mm. eating people's faces, stealing their abilities. Um, yeah, you, you'll know this. It's it's vulgar. It's it's violent. Right. It's, it's got, gory. It's got everything. It's so dangerous. Chris was like, why don't we just do something a bit toned down, like Conker's Bad Fur Day or mm -hmm. Modern Warfare 3 or yeah. something. And I was like, no, we need, to, yeah. we need to go hardcore. We need to really, you know, if we get if we get into an LP together, it should be a serious one, not one with some, yeah. like, funny little Nintendo creature with crayons uh, running around a, a yeah, colored exactly. world, you know? I mean, Frankly, I, I never beat this game because, frankly, it's disturbing. Mm. It's a disturbing game, um... And I've never liked mature games, and this was just so out of my playing field. But you were very persistent, um, and you're like, Chris, this has to happen. I don't care. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, this uh, basically this isn't a dark game. This is Kirby, uh, one of Nintendo's lightest no. franchises. Really? Um... What? Though, of course... You lied to though, me? Though, of course, if, uh... Damn you, Cody! If you, Damn if you, you think about it, it is pretty dark. You've got an alien that eats faces. That part is all true. Uh, but Is Nintendo, he an alien? Oh, he's not a human, is he? But, not... I, well, a dog's not a human, but that, dogs aren't aliens. Dogs don't eat your face and steal their ability and come from outer space. Ah. Uh, about okay, that. Well, some of them do. I've seen dogs. Dogs have eaten people's faces before. Mm. I, I watched the news. Uh, there, there are people who've eaten news, dogs' Kirby. faces before. And that is not the point here. <laughs> uh, this is Kirby 64. The the fun of it yeah. is the element system, where Kirby, when he eats an enemy, he gains uh, their ability. So down on the bottom right there, you see. A fire and a fire, which is a super version of the fire element, which means he turns into a, a giant comet spear thing, and Chris can use him to I'm run like into walls repeatedly. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to control. I, just don't blame me. The, the, the fire birds has a mind of its own. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're missing some very uh, crucial plot elements here. Uh, very, very crucial. Um, right. There's this black mass that is taking control over Kirby's friends and turning them to yeah. evil, evil one-eyed monsters. Um, but they're not all, right, all one-eyed monsters, this but guy. he does Whoa. turn them evil. So this, the basic plot of this is another alien's coming around, uh, turning people Good evil. Uh, it's like the plot of multiple horror films in one. So, yes. Yeah, where uh, at the moment you're only seeing the fire and fire element, but there's actually like. 30 or so combinations around the place because you can mix fire. Yeah, there's a lot. Fire with rock and have a fire rock, or you know, just fire by itself, or just rock by itself, or fire with lightning, or you know, all these different combinations add up and Kirby turns into different things. So that's the fun of it. That's the imagination of it. It's endless possibilities of creativity. Right. It's uh. Basically. In that sense, I, I think it's very similar. Oh, hold on, it's a skill game. Let's see. Can you do it? Oh, you got. Oh. You man managed to restore your heart. I got that. Yep. Good job. Mm -hmm. So it, it reminds well, me you know what a they lot say. of my name is One Shot Fozzy. Uh, yeah, yep, that's definitely your name. Yeah, yeah, um, that's that's definitely <laughs> my name. 
<laughs> hey, hey, people call me that. Just saying, just saying. All right, so um, this is actually a very linear game. You just go from left to right. There's not too many uh, obstacles or anything like that that you're gonna be facing. There's a few times when you have to go, um, you know, up a ladder or up a mountain, uh, but it's very linear. You're never gonna get lost. There's very basic um, boss battles, I guess you can call them. I, I guess there are boss battles. Right. Um, I mean. And, but the goal is to collect all the crystal shards in this game. And I am now w running into a wall. <laughs> just, just as I predicted, I must be psychic. <laughs> just, yeah. just as you predicted. <laughs> um, yes. Have you ever beaten this game before, by the way? I don't think so. I, so, so I, I've played it's so on we, it's on the virtual console, the Wii virtual console. So I've, you know, and yes, I played it, it back on the N64, but. I'm not really one for beating games, I just sort of like to play games a bit at a time. Uh -huh. So as opposed to, you know, going through in one like six hour uh, Kirby marathon to make sure that I beat the final boss, that's not my main concern, I think, in playing a game. Right. Now, as you see, like, when you collect those little tiny star, uh, star emblems, your meter on the bottom will go up. As you see, I'm collecting these. When you fill up that bar, you'll get a 1-up. Um, so these are crucial. You're not going to have many moments in the game where you're going to die, but I recommend racking these up as much as possible because it's always good to have extra lives. Right. And, and, and if you uh, get 120 having not the game, of those stars, you can actually find Yoshi on the roof um, and you get 100 lives. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's that was, that was a, Yeah, that was, a, that was a, Okay, okay. Don't tell them, though. Don't tell them. Okay, well, don't worry, we'll whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one up! And... Whee! And what's this? That is useless, because I have on my life. Wahoo! Yahoo! Wahoo! Thank you so much! Okay, let's kill this guy quick. Uh, die, buddy! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! So, you notice Chris's strategy is run into the wall. Hey! Uh, and let, like, the... Hey! I'm beat. I'm playing the game. I, I'm. I'm. Right. You defeated. You defeated the boss, but it was entirely by running into the wall. Hey, it was. And, and it's called it strategy. Time. Something you would not know anything about. That is my strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Running into yeah. walls. Uh, getting hit. I. It's all part of a muscle. I don't plan. remember losing any lives. So. I, I do remember me excelling in the game. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 definitely excellent. <laughs> excellent. All right, so we see that Kirby's painting friend was taken over by a black mass. And now, I believe that's a girl. She's drawing enemies yeah. for me, and I have to take each out. There's my uh, right. secret maneuver of running into the wall. Running into the edge of the screen at least. Hey. So yeah, she can uh, she can draw enemies, uh, make them real, like that one episode of SpongeBob. Yes. <laughs> um, or or like that uh, ninja character in, in Naruto, uh, whose name I forget. But there's one there's one that does have that ability. It's, I bet they stole it from mm. Kirby. Uh, oh, it's that thing. Um, that is a. It's a Yoshi. You must have gotten 120 stars. <laughs> we beat the game already, Cody. No way! Well, we did it! I told, told you it was a pretty easy game. So, oh, snap. Uh, yeah, everyone, Thank you for watching for... Kirby and the Crystal Shards. <laughs> you can check out Cody at uh, Cody Davies TV. I'm just kidding. We're not done yet. We gotta beat this one eyed monster. Alright. That's it, I think. Yay! No, she's gonna jump down and she's gonna be like, Yay! Give me. Whoa! Yay! Oh! Yay, I'm gonna hit you with my stick. <laughs> what is that paintbrush? Oh, Navi just took your crystal hey, shard. Hey, look! What you doing there? Hello! Now? Hey! Hello! Hello! Hello. Hey. Watch, Watch out. out! Boom! Pow! They're a couple of bros. No big deal. And so she is back to normal again, just like Doodle D. <laughs> I, I know I know it has a name. It's it's in Super Smash Brothers. Oh yes. Um, Waddle Dee. Waddle Dee. 
what will do, that's its name. So, uh, we really are coming to the end of our episode. Not the series, though. There's plenty more to go of that. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but you can find the, the next, next episode. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Cody. But, uh, yeah, you can find the next episode on Cody Davies TV. I'll have a link in the description down below. Um, I'm Chris. I'm Cody. And you've just been Cody Crossed. Peace out.